This Rider Report is brought to you by Life Productions. Another day in Keene, New Hampshire. Another day of revenue collection. And another day for 12 to 15 Liberty activists to gather in the Keene District Court in the pursuit of personal freedom. The city of Keene has been harassing Ian over a piece of furniture sitting on his lawn. How many pages of questions do you have? Uh, we've got about eight pages. Of eight pages? <laughs> How many will we get through? Any example? Well, I'm hoping to never get to any of them. I am um, going to make an offer up front and see if he accepts the offer. I'm attending under duress. Reserve all rights if you're not sent to your governance. I do not intend conflict with you or the city of Keene. Uh, in fact, uh, as an aside, I'd like to take a moment to say I'm going to shock you for a second. There's only one thing we get to see today. Is that you please guilty or not guilty? Uh, you want yes. To I have a trial, don't you? That's all we get to do. Well, I see where you're coming from on that. If I answer your question, would that be consenting to your process? I don't, all, all we're doing is setting a date for you to come back for your hearing. That's, all, that's what you want to have. Well, what I would like to do, actually, at this point, um, I do need to understand the nature and cause of the proceedings against me in order to plea, as I understand it. Um, but before I do that, I do have some questions. Before I get to that point, I would like to make this offer. You can give that to the bank. The offer is uh, that uh, the men and women calling themselves the city of Keene will agree to discharge the current matter and only prosecute me when they have evidence of the victim. In return, I agree to have the offending couch removed when the original complaining party introduces themselves to me and asks me to remove it like an adult. Yes, we have a busy morning here. Um, if you want to negotiate with the city, you can, I don't negotiate the disposition. If you want to negotiate, that's between you and the city. You're welcome to put that in front of whoever is authorized to well, accept I'll, that, I'll that leave, agreement. I'll return it to you, and you can give it to them. Who would that appropriate? Who are the appropriate person? Well, okay. You'd be authorized to accept this agreement? Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. I don't know if I accept it, but I'll accept it. All right, so uh, we're going to set, we'll set a date for the hearing now. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not consenting to your process. I'm going to stop you right now. We have a busy morning. We have to do right. one, one thing is to set the date right now, and that's all we're going to do. Right. Uh, that, are you asking me for my consent? I'm just going to set a date. Are you, you, oh, are you entering a plea on, on my behalf? Yes, not guilty. Okay. Now, are you representing me? I'm representing the court. I am, I'm, the, I'm the judge in this hearing. How is it you can enter a plea? I'm not going to engage in a dialogue with you. If you say one more word, I'm going to have you removed. October 29th at 10 a.m. Well, you can wait outside for your uh, notice. Will you be sending men with guns after me if I don't show up to your uh, trial? One more word, and I'll have you arrested. Wait outside for your notice. After the judge enters a plea for Ian and sets a trial date without his consent, Ian leaves the courtroom and Carl pulls him aside into a nearby hall. Sir, away from the window, please. Get away from the door. The biggest thing is, is he didn't want somebody kicking the door open and hitting him. I've had a couple of people do that. I understand. I have a person just look at I'm worried that Ian's going to get hit right now, though, in private. That's what I'm worried about. I'll tell you what. We're not going to hit anyone. I can hang over here just be on the safe side if you want to. Uh, I'd appreciate it. So I went in that room with Carl, the couch enforcer guy, and uh, he asked me not to record so we could discuss my offer, which you saw me give uh, the judge and give to Carl. And uh, so I went in there, recording was off, and he said, you know, let's talk about this man-to-man. -man. I said, great, I'm all for man-to-man. -man. And uh, so he was being much nicer than he's ever been, and he was talking about how, you know, he's got a job to do and he has a boss, and his boss, you know, wants certain things. So he was saying that uh, you know he was certainly willing to you know take a look at this at this in front of his boss that the offer that I made which was essentially that you know they'll not bother me except when they actually have a victim and in return I get rid of the couch if somebody actually the original complainant comes to meet me and he said that uh, he would actually talk to the lady he said there really is a real complainant and she really does live down the street and I said well great all I wanted to do is meet her and you know we'll talk about this like adults. And so he said he was going to work on making that happen. Um, you know, he just he was very nice for the first time. Um, so I guess maybe they just didn't want me doing all that stuff in front of 
the audience there, and they wanted to have kind of a private little conversation. So if if this the lady does agree, to ideas about the kinds of things they can do if they actually assert their right, rights. right. <laughs> so that's arrested. They, if they can't say let them get questions like that into their heads, right? Right. So they so they wanted to get me out of there. So that's why we had that little private discussion uh, about you know what we could do to just sort of make this go away. He said he wanted to make all this silliness go away, and so maybe they will. He said the they didn't. That they right. Right. Um, <laughs> And you know he was concerned for the the complainant. She didn't want to cause a, a conflict. And I'm like, well, that's fine. I don't want conflict either. I just want to talk to somebody like an adult. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, they've got their trial or whatever, and their notice, which I'm not going to wait for. They wanted me to wait. I'm not gonna, if they want to send me more of their paperwork. This they can certainly do that. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe I'll get to meet the complainant, and she'll be nice, and I'll get rid of the couch, and. They'll cancel their process and we can move on. Good job, Ian.